Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Sprinkler Tech Tip video. I am Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and what we have for you today is a backflow. This is a pressure vacuum breaker, three quarter inch by um, Apollo. And uh, man, sometimes this thing, this camera just looks so good, especially when things are, are uh, gold colored like this, yellow and green, anyway. That's besides the point, but um, <laughs> this is a three quarter inch pressure vacuum breaker, which is required, I think by code, not this particular unit, but uh, backflow preventers in general. I think everywhere in the country, you need some sort of a backflow preventing device. And that could be the PVB model like we have here, or it could be the RPZ model, which is more horizontal or a dual check, etc. So if you're not sure what type of backflow is required in your area, check with your local uh, co, likely the water uh, agency, or check with your sprinkler contractor and find out. So I think a lot of people buying these are buying them for replacement. So if you are, then you know exactly what you need. And I'm gonna flip the camera over here so we can take a, uh, a different angle look at this unit. Um, okay, so what we have here, these are, the, these are the shutoff valves. And of course it may seem, you know, um, elementary, but when the handles are in the same position as the pipe running parallel, that means that they are turned to the on position. And when they're in the off position, they are, Man, that's a little tight. There, they are uh, cross um, perpendicular, not parallel. So that tells you when it's shut off. And then sometimes in the winter, if you if you winterize your irrigation system, you'll see your contractor put them um, either uh, um, open a little bit uh, like this, or these test cocks that are here on the side. You'll uh, you'll see them turn those a quarter turn to, to let out a little bit of water if there's anything trapped in here after the winterization process. So keep in mind that a, a PVB model such as this needs to be installed at least, I think 12 inches higher than the tallest sprinkler on your system. So sometimes, believe it or not, we'll see these things like 10 feet up along the side of a house because if the front or backyard slopes up, this backflow preventer needs to be 12 inches higher than whatever the highest sprinkler is on your system. So that's the that's the one you know potential downside with using a device like this versus the RPZ backflow doesn't have that uh, doesn't have that requirement. Um, so if you're in a sloped application where where the uh, the highest sprinkler you know would would put the backflow um, at your house up at the second floor, you don't want to use a PVB. You want to use an RPZ. And I think in most areas you can use one or the other based on the, the layout of your system. Um, yeah, so again, this is the three quarter inch PVB vacuum breaker by Apollo. And if we can help you with any of your irrigation system uh, design, maintenance, repair parts, etc., feel free to reach out to us. We are available by chat, phone, and email. So until the next tech tip, happy sprinkling, and we will talk to you then.